The Cathedral of St. Lazar in Autumn, Burgundy, France, was commissioned by the Bishop Autun during the period of pilgrimage in the early medieval ages. The building was commissioned to hold the relics and be big enough to house all of the people traveling to Autun in their pilgrimage. The outside work of the church was sculpted by Giselbertus, with most prominent feature being the main facade, the Last Judgment Triumphum, which is a relief sculpture. It is the oldest known Last Judgment works in the Christian art world. The cathedral was constructed around 1130 AD. The mass of the Triumphum facade is so heavy that it required twice the number of lentils to support the work. On the left side of the sculpture is the ascent of the righteous into heaven. On the right side, the demons are seen dragging, pushing, and pulling people into the Leviathan, which was considered the mouth of hell during this time period. In the center of the facade, Christ is sitting constructed in perfect symmetry, and at his side, his mother Mary and his apostles, and Enoch and Elijah are seen with him. Christ's arms are open wide in an inviting gesture, welcoming all those who come to see the relics in the cathedral. In an arch around Christ is a phrase in Latin telling the viewer that Christ will judge all men according to the just crown he wears, and those who do not follow his rule will be punished. points to the saved and his right hand points to the damned. To the pilgrims who traveled to Autumn, this figure of Christ stood as the one who literally separates good from evil. On the facade of the Triumphum at Christ's right hand, there is an inscription in Latin that reads, Here let fear strike those whom earthly error binds, for their fate is shown by the horror of these figures. By his left hand, there is a more hopeful phrase in Latin, above the righteous, which says, Thus shall rise again everyone who does not lead an impious life, and endless light of day shall shine for him. Through the years of these quotes, the center figure of Christ was also very important to the people making their pilgrimage, because it served as a reminder for them to lead a righteous life. The entire facade would put them in the right frame of mind for participating in the ceremony that took place inside the cathedral. On the left side of the sculpture, the gates of heaven are depicted with St. Peter allowing souls of the just to entrance into heaven. Among the souls being allowed into heaven are people who made the pilgrimage to see the relics. This is symbolized by the figures carrying bags with shells on them, which is the type of bag many pilgrims had with them. Interspersed among the people are angels that are helping them reach the gates of heaven. On the far right of the work is a very vivid looking medieval hell. The damned are all stripped naked, stripped from all their earthly riches. Many figures are being pulled by demons into the Leviathan. There is a figure of a man being pulled by the head into hell, while those around him watch in terror. The viewer can see St. John and the Archangel Michael weighing the souls on a scale, while two demons trying to tip the scales on a soul of a just being. Judgment Triumphum showed the people coming to Autumn to see the relics and pay tribute to the church. 
that that was the way to heaven, and continue seeing the relics and to give generously to the church. On the other hand, the triumphum also showed those who did not do these things would become subject to demons and hell when the time of the last judgment comes. The last judgment triumphum is a typical but invented piece for the time. When compared to the Florence Baptistry, there are definite similarities between the two, as well as some differences. Both of the works are relief sculptures dramatizing a story. The Florence Baptistry does this through panels depicting different religious events, whereas the Tiamphum tells the story through one large panel. The figures in the Florence Baptistry are stoic and show no emotion, while the figures in the Last Judgment have emotion throughout the work. The emotion in the Tiamphum influenced the rest of the Christian works of art during the medieval ages. The Last Judgment Tiamphum is important to the history of medieval era for many reasons. First, the Last Judgment Triumphum sculpture is one of the oldest pieces of Last Judgment art known to historians. Second, the Triumphum was one of the first works to show emotion in the face and gestures of the figures depicted in it. Finally, this piece of artwork influenced the rest of the Christian world in the works of art that came after it. <laughs> 